um, in this video we will be implementing put method for uh, both employee and departments table so we use put method to update uh, an existing record in the given table so let's start with departments controller and uh, what we'll do is we'll just copy the post method so we have uh, the data table and using the connection we execute this uh, query and uh, if everything is successful uh, we are sending added successfully for put request it will be updated successfully and let's just copy the post method and just replace post with put so we will expect department the put method also expects the department object the only thing that changes is the query so instead of insert we will write uh, update dbo dot departments set department name equal to plus db dot department name plus um, we need an add symbol we have to write the where condition so we need to update where department id equal to plus dap dot department id so in the object we send both the department id and department name so we will update department name for that particular id So we have update dbo dot departments set department name equal to the department name which we are sending from the object so let's test this what we'll do is let's execute the select query first on the departments so we have uh, three rows finance it and support what we'll do is we'll change the uh, support department to operations so we have to change support to operations where the id is equal to 3 right so let's copy the url let's go to postman paste the url and uh, the method will be api slash department so we are doing it for department change the method type to put and in the body we have to send the json method json department details so it has department id will be 3 so we are changing the department for department id which is equal to 3 and the department name which we want to change would be <coughs> operations so we are changing from support to operations so we'll change it to json or application let's send and check so we have to change the message here it should not be added successfully it should be updated successfully we'll just change that but before that we'll see whether the updation has successfully done or not so the third row is updated from support to operations okay so we can say updated successfully instead of added successfully and fail to update okay 
we don't have to test that since it's just a change in the message we'll implement the put method now for the employee table okay we'll copy the same thing go to employee controller and uh, we'll paste the method so the thing that we have to change here is the input type which is employee and also the query so we'll write the query as update dbo dot employee employees set employee id so sorry we are not setting the employee id we set only employee name equal to emp dot employee name plus at the rate symbol and this okay so we have the first column set let's go with the second column comma next we have department equal to emp dot department next we have mail id equal to emp dot mail id and then finally date of joining equal to emp dot doj so we have to write the condition where employee id equal to plus emp dot employee id okay. that's it <clears throat> so now we can test this method so we have the message also corrected updated successfully and if it fails fail to update So we'll call the employee put method and in the body let's have employee ID so what we are going to change here uh, we'll do one thing we'll uh, change the record for Sam okay we'll change his department from uh, okay we'll change Mary We'll change the her department from support to operations and we'll also change the mail ID. Okay, so we'll do employee ID equal to three and uh, employee name will be the same, which is Mary, and uh, we have department. which should be now operations and then mail id so it's this we'll make it as uh, 456 at gmail.com and then finally date of joining we'll make it as we'll keep it same 2019 05 fine so now let's execute let's send the request and check so we got the message which is updated successfully let's just verify that by executing the 
method so we can see that the changes are reflecting.